If you can't export your videos from Premiere Pro anymore because you get random error messages saying that there was an error compiling the movie or whatnot, then good news, I have a quick fix for you. But I also have bad news. Recently, I've had a lot of issues with Premiere Pro while exporting my projects. I would get random uh, error messages saying that there was an error compiling the movie. What drove me crazy is that it happened out of nowhere. And it couldn't have happened at a worse time because I had a lot of projects that were due that week. So I did everything. I tried to change my timeline settings. Initially, I thought it was uh, an H.264 bug or issue, so I tried to export in ProRes, but it still didn't work. I also made sure that all my drivers were up to date, but when it didn't work, I downgraded my drivers to see if the driver was an issue, but it wasn't, so I upgraded back to the latest version. All these things didn't work for me. So I went back online and I did a little bit more research and I saw that for some people, I think for most people, using software encoding instead of hardware encoding would solve the issue. You would be able to export the projects, not as fast, obviously, as if you were using hardware encoding, but still you would be able to have the video you want exported, exported. So I tried this as like some sort of like a Hail Mary because I saw online that it worked for a lot of people, but I tried it and it didn't work. So I dug deep into the settings of Premiere and I found out that I had a couple settings that were turned on that would essentially prevent me from exporting software only. So if you're in the same situation and that you try to export software only and it doesn't work, um, you might wanna try to do this. So you need to go into preferences and media. So you have to make sure that the last two boxes down there are ticked off. So the hardware accelerated decoding and the hardware accelerated encoding are turned off. If these two things were toggled on, then you need to talk, tick them off and then restart Premiere because it requires a restart. So I did this and I was able to export the videos and this was a huge relief. So the business side of things were like was like taken care of, but I was still kind of annoyed because I spent all this money on a computer and I was not able to use hardware encoding. So I reached out to Adobe on Twitter. So they asked a couple of questions like what was my GPU, CPU, what version of Premiere Pro I was using, whatnot. There was nothing wrong with my computer parts. So that was, I was really happy with that. Essentially what it told me is that it was a GPU issue and that I had to make sure that my drivers were up to date. And I told them they were. I didn't hear from them for like a day or two. And then they got back to me this morning and they said that they had discussed that issue with their product team and it is a bug. Like there's literally nothing you can do about that. Yeah, I'll, hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll patch that in like a future update. So the 200 read version of that or like the 200 watch version of that is that if you're experiencing this issue and, and it seems like it's a Windows only issue, the only way you can export your videos is by using software only. And if software only still doesn't work, you have to go into preferences, media, and make sure that the hardware encoding is ticked off. And if this doesn't work, it worked for me, but if this doesn't work, maybe just like, I don't know, download DaVinci or something. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. That was a quick video today. I hope it will help you. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure you like the video and subscribe. And if you have any questions, whatever, comment down below and I'll try to answer to all of you guys. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.